If you've never made Asun Jollof before, you're definitely missing out. Hi faves, let me show you how to make this really yummy and delicious recipe that everyone is going to love. First, we're going to make the Asun. Now you want to add your seasoning to this and you also want to add some salt. Some people might choose to add curry at this point, but no, I just prefer the natural taste. So I would uh, mix all of this together now to ensure that my meat marinates well. I'm going to ensure that all the parts of the meat are well coated in this seasoning so that it is well marinated. Once I'm done mixing, I'm going to transfer this to my fridge for about an hour or two. After which, I will set out my outdoor grill. I've had this grill for a while now and I really love it. I got it from Shop with Velvety on IG and it's like the best thing that has happened to me since sliced bread because I've always wanted to grill outdoor but you know i've not been able to because i don't own an outdoor grill but this grill is quite small but it is very functional okay now i'm just going to put the upper rack once i have set it and now my meat has been marinating in the fridge for about two hours now and i'm going to be placing them on the rack like so i really love this part about making this asun because it was so much much fun like making my own asun do you know that why asun is called asun is because in yoruba asun means roasted so it basically means roasted goat's meat if you don't have an open grill like this you can use your air fryer or your oven to achieve this but you know you cannot get the correct taste like you would get if you roast it on a charcoal grill but yet you still get something close to that so i'll be applying some oil to this you know to so just give it that extra shine and extra freshness and extra roasting okay so yes i'm just going to apply this oil now and i would um continue to baste it or coat it with some oil one of the things i love to do when i'm roasting outside is to just drop a, a little bit of that oil in the charcoal and it will just give that smoke out is that smoke gone 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 go, that you need in your grills honestly <laughs> Once my meat is ready, I'm going to flip them over to ensure that they are cooked on both sides. And while it is still cooking, I'll prep my peppers for the asun. We want to use scotch bonnet for this. We're not adding tomatoes or any other type of pepper. Just basically scotch bonnet. I am going to blend that to form a rough consistency. You want the consistency to be rough. You don't want a smooth consistency at all. So you're just going to keep blending that until... The consistency is rough i also got this chopper from shop with velvety on ig please do well to check them out so like i said you want a rough consistency and this is what we have i'm going to transfer this to a bowl and show you what i'm talking about now i'm going to go outside and take my roasted meat is already ready yay our asun is ready okay so i'm just going to take that out and i'll be chopping this into biteable size you don't want to be, no matter even if you're a big man or something you have to chop your asun into small small size because that is why that is the asun look okay
once i finish cutting this i'm going to pour this in a dry pot and i'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper that i have chopped earlier on I'll add some seasoning cubes to this and I will give this a good mix together to be well combined. I'll be adding some vegetable oil to this now and I'll also be adding some water to this to cook. After then, I will mix this together to ensure that the water and the oil and the pepper and the goat meat is well incorporated and the pepper cooks through. Once I'm certain that my pepper is well cooked, I'm going to add some chopped onions to this. I will give this a good mix. The onion is actually a very vital part in making a soon. Like, you can't make a soon without adding onions. If you are not a big fan of onions, well, I don't know. But come on, a soon is like 80% goat meat 20 percent onions basically so you want the onions to still be crispy you don't want it to be soaked or overcooked so once you add the onions the onions is the final thing that you add you can add a little bit of water to loosen things up but the onions is the final thing that you add and this is already looking yummy this is already giving everything that it needs to be given okay so if you if you don't know how to make a soon just watch this video this video is like a two in one you're learning to make how to make a soon and you're learning how to make correct jollof fries once my asun is ready, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl and I am going to set this aside. Okay, look at that. Gee, this is, this is yum. This is so, so good. This is like mm, classy, top-notch asun. Okay. <laughs> now, once I do that, I'm going to make my pepe for the jello fries i have added some tomatoes some bell peppers some chili pepper and some rodo this is the proportion that i will be using i will also be using red onions for this this red onions is very important in this whole mix now i'm going to rinse my pepper and remove the seeds from the bell peppers this is like the local bell peppers you can use the foreign bell peppers if that's what you have Now that this is done, there's an important step that I will be doing for this recipe, okay? I'll be boiling the peppers. I will not be boiling the pepper with any water. I'm just going to cover it. And once the pepper is well boiled, in fact, a little bit slightly burnt, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to transfer this to my blender. You can see how that looks. Some people might choose to roast this, but I love to boil my pepper. Now I'm going to blend this until it is really smooth. You want a smooth texture. You don't want a rough consistency for jollof rice. You want a very smooth texture, like a paste-like texture. That's the vibe we're going for. So once I get the 
texture and consistency that i like i will pour this into a bowl and also set aside look at that this is the texture for jollof this is how you want your pepper to be you can choose to blend your pepper straight up but this is how i love to do mine now i'm going to be seasoning some goat's meat because i need the stock i'm doing this for the stock then i'll also add some salt to this i'll add some onions to this you can see that i'm generous with the onions because onions is actually a very good flavor for your beef your soups your rice recipes and all i add a little bit of what a little bit of water to this and i will be giving this a good mix and i will allow this to cook in its own meat in its own liquid in its own juice uh -huh, in its own juice <laughs> so i'll cover this now for some time and after a while look at what we have it has released its own liquid and i'll just set this aside and i will drain out that juice that stock is very important in this recipe like i made all of that goat's meat because of this stock yes your stock is very very important as it flavors the food Now I'm going to be chopping some onions. You need red onions for jollof fries. If you want your jollof fries to bang, don't be stingy with your red onions. Make it rain in that mix. Make it like, make it rain like it's confetti, okay? Look at what we have here. Now let's talk about our rice. For this recipe, I'll be using short grain rice. There's a reason why I'm using this short grain rice. is because short grain rice, if you want to get that jollof, party jollof vibe, you need to use short grain rice. You can choose to use long grain rice. That's the kind of rice I even like to eat. But short grain rice is very good for jollof. Like it comes out really nice and really good. So now basically what I'm doing here is that I am rinsing my rice until the water runs clear you know jollof you don't get to parboil the rice so you want to rinse your rice until the water is clear like if they pour water inside that your rice then it's not going to give this creamy color mm -mm. you want to rinse that rice properly you rinse it even if it's i usually rinse mine like five to six up to five to six times because i have once made a mistake where i i boiled my rice for jollof rice and it was a disaster no don't do that don't do that just rinse your rice until the water runs clear please if you have watched till this point i would like to urge you to please subscribe to my youtube channel please like this video share with your friends and it will encourage me to do more videos like this for you so still on the matter we are rinsing this rice until the water runs clear like clear you want to see clarity when you when you pour water into this you want to see it clear look at that our rice is already well rinsed but i'm just going to rinse it a couple more times now my rice is clear i'm just going to set this aside as well now let's cook the jollof in a pot like this stainless steel pot or cast iron pot that's what you should use for jollof don't use non-stick pan no. you're going to add some vegetable oil to this mm. you now go in with some bay leaves yes bay leaf is quite important in jollof rice it flavors your rice then you go in with our red onions our chopped red onions like i told you you want to make this rain like it's confetti you don't want to be stingy with your red onions if you want to get that correct party jollof vibe oh, don't be stingy with your red onions okay now i'm going to mix all of that together until it is fried like you want to ensure that your onions is well fried before you take anything else like your onions is dry before you take anything else into that because if you're not careful at this point those onions will become black and mm, that's not the vibe we're going for at all so you want to ensure that this is well fried now you're going to add some curry to your oil 
yeah just chop some curry like that you're going to add some thyme this good old curry and thyme you know you're going to mix all of that together in that oil and you already have like a flavored oil anything that enters into this now the flavors have been activated mm. now once you mix all of this together you're going to go in with your tomato paste if you want to get correct jollof party vibe party jello vibe you want to be a little bit heavy with your tomato paste you cannot be stingy with your tomato paste you want to at least because i'm cooking four cups of rice and this is the amount of tomato paste that i am using so now this part is very dicey i have to tell you that if you don't fry this your tomato paste very well anybody that eats your jollof the jollof will bring out its hand and slap them <laughs> I'm not saying that it's going to slap them, but your jollof will be sour because tomato paste is usually sour. So you need to fry this, your tomato paste to, hmm, you need to fry it. Even if it's like, even if it takes a long time, if you miss this step, you have missed it. So don't even be in the hurry at all. You need to fry this. Let it fry. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing until, hmm, the tomato paste starts to look like gary like it starts is no longer together it does not it's not gumming body at this point it's still gumming body together but you know you just need to keep frying this making jollof is actually very very simple if you know the tips and tricks of making jollof rice so don't jollof some people make jollof and you be like is this jollof because they don't know the consistency of the of the pepper and all of that but in this video i'll be showing you everything about jollof rice now you can see what i'm talking about my um tomato paste is already looking well fried but don't be deceived ah, i want to move like 10 steps ahead of the devil so this is it this is good to go now when it looks something like this now i'm going to add my pepper mix i'll be my pepper blend look at that pepper blend now Chey! ah oh my gracie you need cook fire now i'm going to mix all of this together to be well combined though you want to also fry and you know one of the good things about boiling your pepper first before blending is that your pepper is halfway cooked so you don't need to like cook for longer you don't need to like cook for longer your pepper is already halfway cooked you just need to incorporate it with whatever you are incorporating it with you don't need to cook for longer at all so you know that your pepper is ready when you start to see like the oil is floating on top a bit at this point i'm going to add my stock so that it will give the pepper some more room to fry i'll add some salt to this and i will also be going in with some seasoning powder i'll also be adding some ginger powder to this and i will mix all of this together to be well combined hmm. we're making a very great base like this is odogu base okay <laughs> ah all right so once your pepper starts to look like this you know that it is good to go once you can see a little bit of oil floating on top you know that it is good to go look at that look at our base now chai you even you you know that anything that this that touches inside this thing is going to be a banger it's going to be a what a serious banger now i'm going to be adding my rinsed rice to this hmm i'll rest my i'll add my rinsed rice to this then i'll mix that rice to be well combined so you want to incorporate all the base all the sauce let it enter inside themselves so that one part of your jollof will not be jollof one part of white rice and stew you get that vibe so now you want to mix everything together like so <music> Thank you. 
Now you want to add some water to this. I'll be using hot water for this. This is to speed up my cooking time. Some people might choose regular water, but I'll be using hot water for this. Now you don't want to add too much water to your jollof rice. You just want your water to be a little bit above the rice. It's not like when you want to cook normal rice that you pack water and fill it. No, no, no. Just a little bit above that rice is fine. Now you're going to mix that water into your base and your rice and this is what we have. It's already looking your malicious and all of that. Then you will cover this to cook. You cover this to cook for about 35 minutes. And now let's talk about your heat. You want to use the lowest heat. Like you don't want your heat to be too high when you are cooking jollof. After 35 minutes, mm, this is what we have. Our jollof is jollof. <laughs> if you follow these steps, faith, then anytime you cook jollof, everybody's going to be saying that you are the best. That there's nobody that can match your jollof level. Like everybody's just going to talk about how good and how amazing and how delicious your jollof is. If you follow all the steps that I'm teaching you, you know you're my fave. I will always show you everything and I will not hide anything from you. So I will mix all of that together like so. And look at our jollof. It's already given. If we were to be busy, we will say that we are finished cooking this jollof. And it will still be, it will still bango, but we are not done. Mm? Because on this page, we are not busy at all. We are extra and we we'll always put it in our meals. Now I'm going to be adding some fresh tomatoes to this. Mm. That fresh tomato will give it that party jollof vibe. Then we'll add some butter to this, cover it, and now we'll go ballistic with our heat. You can see that I have increased the heat, and after then, if you see the smoke, you know that it is correct. Then you're going to mix all of this together. Che gosh. Ah, oh, and you cook fire. I know. You're going to mix all of this together, yeah? Mm? And this is what we have. Our jollof is already looking like this. It's already looking so good, so peng. But we're not basic, like I said. So we'll now be adding that our asun that we have made. Hey, look at the asun safe. Chai gosh. Anybody that eats this will know that you love them. You mix that asun inside that jollof rice. Ah, Omo, this is this is premium paradise. This is premium paradise. <laughs> Okay, so you mix that as soon inside that jello fries, right? And then it is giving you um, chai. Look at it now, it's so fine. You should definitely try this recipe. You love it. Everyone is going to love it. Everyone is going to like enjoy it. It is so good and so easy to make and so yum. Like this is what you get when you try this recipe. Hi, this thing was so delicious. My husband loved it so so much yes so thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for following through if you've watched till now then please subscribe to my youtube channel please and i beg and i beg subscribe to my youtube channel because see the premium content i'm giving you okay look at that oh hmm. look at our asun jollof it is giving it is it is paying now i'm going to enjoy this with someone i love you should try this with someone you love as well bye face i'll see you in my next one